This video is brought to you by Omaze. Hi, welcome to another episode of Cold Fusion. Electric cars are positioned for a revolution, but in pursuit of more range, more performance, and faster charging times, there's still room for improvement. The answer could lie in a technology called solid state batteries. Even though solid state batteries have been studied since the 1950s and meaningfully built since 2011 by the Bolo company, the technology still hasn't broken through on a large scale yet. As you'll soon see, there's a lot of good reasons for solid state batteries to take over, such as much faster charging times, a higher energy density, but there's also some challenges. In today's episode, you'll see how Toyota may have finally cracked the code. We'll take a look at what the automaker plans to do and the pros and cons of the battery technology. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Toyota has been researching solid state batteries since 2012. And in 2020, they announced a prototype car using the technology that will be revealed this year. If you've seen my Toyota documentary, you'd know that they've been built on a history of innovation throughout the 20th century. In fact, Toyota has over a thousand patents involving solid state batteries. When you combine this with a $19.2 billion investment from the Japanese government that includes funds for domestic work on solid state batteries, a breakthrough was bound to happen. So firstly, how does the technology work? Simply put, solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte as opposed to a liquid or polymer gel found in current lithium ion batteries. They function broadly like regular batteries, using cathodes and anodes separated by an electrolyte that allows charged ions to pass through it. While discharging power, oxidation occurs at the anode to create compounds with free-flowing electrons. These electrons deliver electrical energy. The compounds at the cathode gain electrons and thus store power. When the battery is charged, the process is reversed. Solid state batteries offer a greater energy density, anywhere from two to eight times a regular battery, all while having the same weight as well as lower risks of fire. On the point of fire, less safety measures are needed, so more space can be dedicated to packing in more power. The heat generated inside a solid state battery is 70 to 80% less than a regular battery. The technology also avoids toxic materials found in current batteries. Faster charging, longer cycle life, and higher voltages are all additional advantages. So what do we know about this new battery from Toyota? Toyota claims that its newly developed battery can enable a maximum EV range of 500 kilometers and a charging time from 0 to 100% of just 10 minutes. And they say this is, quote, all with minimal safety concerns, end quote. The company adds that the new batteries provide double the range of what would have been possible with a traditional lithium ion battery, with no compromising on interior space. The reports are also saying that this solid state battery car will be an SUV built on the existing E-TNGA platform. The new SUV is expected to debut in 2021, but only in prototype form. The full production version should be revealed in about 2023 or 2024. And this isn't just some pie in the sky thing. On the manufacturing front, the ball is already rolling. Japanese auto material makers are rushing to set up the infrastructure to supply automakers. Mitsui Mining will start up a pilot facility that will make solid electrolytes for the batteries. The production site will be able to produce dozens of tons of solid electrolytes annually starting next year, enough to fulfill orders for prototypes. So I know what you're thinking. This all sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? If solid state batteries are so good, why aren't we seeing them everywhere? So before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at some problems with the technology. Number one, the cost. Traditionally, solid state batteries are very expensive to produce. In 2012, one single 20 amp hour battery cost 100,000 US dollars to produce. To give you an idea, an electric car would need a thousand of these expensive batteries to run. But for now, it seems that Toyota and other players have overcome the cost hurdle if they're aiming for a production solid state car in the next five years. Number two, temperature performance. 
Solid state batteries are known to have questionable performance in cold temperatures, so their long-term durability has a question mark. We'll have to see if Toyota has gotten around this issue. I have little doubt that they would have, otherwise they would be facing lawsuits in the future I'd imagine. Number 3. Damage from dendrite formation. Solid state batteries traditionally have a problem when charging and discharging, and this problem is the formation of dendrites. These are needle-like structures that form on the anode as it charges. As time goes on, these structures grow and damage the battery. However, solutions to this problem have been worked out by researchers since 2018. As it stands, other automotive manufacturers are looking to use solid state batteries. Nissan and Volkswagen are two such companies. The latter has its sights set on commencing battery production as early as 2025, in partnership with a company called QuantumScape. In 2021, the QuantumScape team remarks that they've resolved all of the core challenges that have plagued solid state batteries in the past, such as incredibly short lifetimes and a slow charging rate. The thing that sets them apart, and the interesting thing is, they actually have the hard data to prove it. According to their testing, their cell can charge from 0 to 80% capacity in 15 minutes and retains more than 80% of its capacity after 800 charging cycles. It's non-combustible and has a volumetric density of more than 1000 watts per litre, which is nearly double the energy density of the best lithium ion cells. The key for them was a flexible ceramic separator that sits between the cathode and the anode. It's also worth noting that this company just didn't come from nowhere. The QuantumScape team took 10 years and $300 million of R&D before coming across this discovery. Uh, what exactly have you achieved or, or announced in, with this breakthrough on the solid state battery front and, and when will it start to get produced? The solid state battery has been something that's been pursued for probably 45 years since the mid 70s, uh, but no one has been able to make uh, a solid state electrolyte, which is the material through which lithium ions move. That's what we have uh, finally achieved and the results that we showed last week uh, demonstrated that we can actually uh, run these batteries under real world operating conditions. The fundamental technology itself though uh, has been run by our automotive customers in their labs, so we know the technology works. I'd say this is very encouraging, but as always, we should take it with a grain of salt. And it's not just the automobile industry that sees the potential of solid state batteries. Researchers at MIT have created a phone battery that can last three days. They've also solved a lot of the common problems that's associated with the new battery technology. Most of you have also probably heard about Samsung's solid state battery efforts. Their experimental battery achieved 900 watt hours per litre and over a thousand charge cycles. This equates to a car with about 500 miles of range. So to me, it seems that after decades of work and no progress, solid state battery tech will finally get its day in the next five years. In addition to all of this, regular liquid lithium ion batteries have fallen by 88% in the past decade. Basically, another positive driving force for the electric revolution. Before we wrap up the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Omaze. If you've ever wanted to donate money to a good cause, but also have a chance to win something big, today I'm partnering with Omaze to make that happen. Omaze is offering you the chance to win a house in Florida or $1 million in cash. One winner will also take home a brand new Tesla Model 3, with taxes and shipping included. It's the dual motor model with 300 miles or 480 kilometers in range. When you enter, the fund received from the giveaway will help Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. They're building a state-of-the-art epilepsy monitoring unit. It's going to provide life-changing care for kids of all ages, and this is for a broad range of neurological disorders, including epilepsy. To enter, simply go to the link below. So Toyota has yet to specify exactly when we'll be seeing the new battery, but it's scheduled for this year. I think it would be so interesting to see if they've actually achieved what's been promised for the past 60 years, and I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for it. This comes during the news that Norway has become the first country to sell more electric cars than petrol cars, at 54% in 2020. Electric cars beat out petrol, diesel, and hybrid engines combined. It's a specific example, but it shows that electric cars are on the move. With solid state batteries seeming on the horizon, it might be the final piece of the puzzle to push electric cars truly mainstream. 
If you want to see how Toyota started and learn about their size, I've done a documentary on it. It's one of the most popular videos on this channel, so be sure to check it out. So that just about wraps up the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video and want to see anything on technology, business or history, be sure to subscribe to Cold Fusion. Next time, we'll be continuing our story on Intel. My name is Dagogo and you've been watching Cold Fusion and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers guys. Have a good one. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.